All right, out here at the Cadillac, doing a little bit of work. Saturday night, it's wet outside. So we're not going outside to work. One of the complaints I had about this car was the mirrors were loose. Let me attempt to crawl in here. I've kind of fixed one of them already, so we will demonstrate the problem I had. The head of the mirror is very loose. The stem is tight. There's two screws inside here behind the glass. Unfortunately, I cannot get the glass out. I jumped online, hit a couple of forums, and the glass is adhered to a black plastic base which is affixed to a couple of little retainers because it's got the electric motor to make it do its thing and then it's got a center mounting point, it's all glued together well these things were not designed to be repaired basically they, 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 their assembly process put the base onto the stem and then you put all the inner workings in screwed that in then you put the mirror on and glued it in place so there's really no way to easily get the glass out uh, the one forum that I found that was talking about it they recommended just buying replacements well, mine are still good. I don't need replacements. So if we get the flashlight out, wherever I put it, we'll crawl back out the car here. Bear with me for a second. I did try pulling one screw out, hoping I can get the base out itself, but i got to put that back in now. So, I flip this mirror all the way out as far as it'll go. There's a window with the controller there. And if you look down inside, hopefully it'll show up. You see those two little screw heads there? I don't know if it's going to actually show up on the camera. There we go. Those are what were loose. I've got the one closest to the camera tightened. So you will notice she's solid again. i got to get that other one snugged up. This is how I did it. Pretty simple. Very simple. Take one of your handy dandy little, uh, whatchamacallits here with the handle on it, which was a little bit thicker. Put an extension on it. Got a quarter inch drive socket. Got the adapter and then got a bit inside there. It's all magnetic so it doesn't fall off. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to show up, but they do kind of have to manhandle the mirror out of the way just a little bit to get everything back in there gently because plastic bits and mine's an 84 so they're almost 30 years old probably not showing anything up on the screen but that's okay so I'm just snugging up that back one be good. Well, that's nice. That's way better than they were. That is a solid mirror. That's not going to flop around anymore. And it still works. I just got to get my other little screw put back in, which is pretty easy to get to. Hopefully, it's showing up there. You can see the hole. Right there, it's not wanting to focus. There we go. So that's just a straight shot. Do that with a regular screwdriver. Which I happen to have right over shop. without dropping it. Like a surgeon. She's still not perfectly tight.
one thing fixed. I'm going to get that crust off my blister shorter. We're going to tackle that other side here real quick. See if we can get it buttoned up. I should be able to get to that inside the car. Well, I was hoping that the passenger side would be a, pardon the pun, mirror image <laughs> of the driver's side. But, as it's showing up, you can see the screws in there. Maybe, but they are underneath the mechanism on this side. I think just from watching the movement is the motors are the same left and right. The driver's side is made to go more outward as well as the passenger side is made more to come inward so they don't flip the, the motors over which is going to cause a problem for the repair of this side. Hmm. You just have to wait till tomorrow. Get this thing outside. Cause I'm sitting in the car right now. Alrighty. Yeah, we tried. We got one done. Of course, one other thing I noticed. It wasn't even on the list. Alternator check. Driver's window. Motor. Bumper trim. Wheel well. Paint. Scrub interior. Fix hood scratch. Uh, valve covers, exhaust manifold, speedo, realign high beams, trunk pull down, transmission leak, door pins, shift linkage, clay bar, polish. So I didn't even have the uh, mirrors on there. Oh well, we got one done. Halfway there. Let's go ahead and shut her down for the night. Kick back. Get this thing ready for the show. Maybe tomorrow we'll get it out. After I'm done mowing the grass and doing all the domestic stuff. So, alrighty. Bye-bye.